Well, where to begin? Michael Shabins probably get a B. I have read many of his books, and while most of them require a dictionary, possibly even a Yiddish dictionary, I enjoy them. They're thick. They're meaty. You really can sink your teeth into them and enjoy them. Shabin's books, especially this one, Telegraph Avenue, is full of witty one-liners, none of which I can remember right now except for when Gwen goes to get her hair done and somebody tells her, stay fly, do what you got to do. I love that. That kind of sums up about Telegraph Avenue. Great story. Interesting, if not one-dimensional characters. But there were so many 1970s references that I just couldn't keep up. There was the reference to the the Black Panthers. There's the references to the many black exploitation films. There were the references to the Jewish faith. There were the references to Pittsburgh, even. And yet all the characters had cell phones, but yet they didn't quite seem to really know how to use them. And I just found all of that a kind of confusing mishmash, but it still worked. So it was a confusing mishmash that worked. And can I tell you, if I ever get one of these cream donuts that they talk about with the chocolate and the layers, I think I would be in heaven too. Now, I've never been to Berkeley, California. I have no idea if this place ever really exists, but how everybody seems to have a taste of that donut in their mouth is one of the things I love about books. You can taste it in your mouth too. And there were so many times while reading I wanted a cup of coffee to drink with my donut that they mention in the book repeatedly. But, like I can say, I'm still a true Michael Shaben believer. However, I would like his next book to be a little less dependent on a dictionary. However, because of him, I am smarter. And I thank you for that.